Hey there folks, Ash here and we are back with another Power Rangers related video, this time talking about comics because usually before the issue drops we get the previews on the weekend and this time we'll be talking about Power Rangers issue 2. Now special thanks to Ranger Command Power Hour, they've got the previews up on their site, really easy to find, really easy to navigate through and really cool because they've got the cool zoom feature when I view it on the full image but yeah um we're going to be looking at the four preview is four yeah four preview pages we've got for mighty morphin so not mighty morphin power rangers oh i gotta get used to that um so here is issue two here is the main cover which looks really really freaking awesome so once again special thanks to range command power hour for having the preview pages up on their site so here's the main cover looks really awesome you see the rangers jumping into battle and then you have the second cover which is draken standing on the hand of the imperial holding the omega ranger helmets looking really awesome i believe this is a daniele cover so i really do enjoy this cover so this is the legacy cover where it just follows the same numbering as the old Mighty Morphin cover if you want to collect them. It's really cool. I really do like it. So let's talk about the preview pages. So here we have Selwyn narrating, which we find out later is Draken. This universe is an endless sea of possibility, both beautiful and terrifying. To forget is an incur of its wrath. To be reminded of how small and alone we truly are. To tremble in its magnificence, so forgive me. I take no pleasure in what I've done. I am a creature of necessity. And I really do like this opening page because you see the ranger's ship just floating in space. You've got Zack's weapon on the ground. You've got the kitty cat, I believe is called Jada, like terrified of something. And you've got Trini floating in space. Oh, uh, let me just close these ones we've talked about. And then you have Draken saying, and we must do what we can to survive. And then Jason saying... Even if I'm the last one left, I swear I'll take you down with me. So I really, like, I'm probably going to make this, like, the thumbnail picture when the uh, when the issue drops on Wednesday, that is for sure. Usually I've been making it the covers, but this might be the one that's, like, sort of silhouetted, like, um, hidden onto the other side. But this is a really cool panel of Jason, like, holding his Omega Blade. He's cut up really bad. He's got, like... Cut scars and cuts on his cheek. He's bleeding, which I always like seeing in these Power Ranger comics when you actually see the characters bleed because it shows how human they are, how vulnerable they can be. And it looks like Jason is holding something on his backpack, on his bag, on his bag. Yeah, your backpack on his bag. Backpack on his back. I cannot speak today. Whoa. Um, so it looks really freaking awesome. So then... Then you have Jason and Eleven talking, and they're just talking about the current situation with everything going on. So, um, this is where um, Eleven says, saying, you know, you made sure when we stole Draken, it turned us into intergalactic outlaws, and Jason's saying he's a valuable resource, he's going with that, um, that argument, and uh, Eleven says, your, your leadership took us to Earth for guidance. Instead, Zordon is now calling for every favor he has to track us down. That's an interesting bit of um, wording it, because if Zordon's got several favors out in the universe of who he knows Zordon's special connections, we'll say, uh, like, who, who, who does he have? Who was there? Like, that, that is interesting. And I can't wait to see... Who Draken has, not Draken, who, who Zordon has on tab to help track down the Omega Rangers. Like, maybe it's the person that is beating up Jason. Maybe it's not. Because a lot of people are betting on if Draken's going to turn rogue um, right away and just do his own thing. Which is, no doubt, which is probably going to happen. But I don't think it's going to happen this soon. And we'll get into Draken and what he says in these preview pages later. So... Uh, we've got Jason sort of like being the leader in this situation where Jason is sort of thrusted into becoming a leader. And I will go more into detail about it when my review drops on 
Wednesday, so this is me just breaking down the pages and giving my thoughts on them and then I'll go into full review mode when the issue drops so Dra um, Jason wants Draken because they need him as available resource and they want to find out how powerful this, this Imperial guy is because he was able to kill kill um, the Red Emissary but Jason says I'm sorry if you're disappointed but until someone gives me a better option uh, I'm going that's what I'm going with so we've got Draken in chains Trini's taking him into a jail cell and Draken is being a big brain right here, saying, like, he's using kind words and compliments, saying, you've seen you're still a truly a kind, so caring soul, unlike the rest of your companions. And Draken then says, tell me, are you truly prepared to watch more planets burn to lose friends and family and stand by as the innocent suffer? That's because if, if it... That's bec because that's what's going to happen if you let Jason, Zack, and that robotic spider of yours make the decision decisions. You should be the one calling the shots here. So Draken, being sus with the big brain play, trying to turn the Omega Rangers against each other. And I wonder if it's going to work. I wonder if Draken's, like, Draken's mind games are going to work. Because I get the feeling that Draken is going to play mind games with Trini, with Zack with Jason, and try and turn them against each other. Well, I get the feeling that what Draken wants to do, he wants there to be a mutiny amongst the amongst the rangers. That's what I'm guessing from these preview pages. I think Draken is going to cause some sort of mutiny against Jason, and they're going to probably vote for Draken to be in charge and calling the shots. That's what I'm guessing he wants to do, so that way he can slip off and escape when the time is needed. But I really do like this page. Um, this might be my thumbnail with Draken, um, big old head. Who knows, who knows. But Draken is doing the big brain play right over here. And I'm excited to see when this full issue drops on Wednesday with where it's going to go, because Power Rangers is the more exciting comic for me. I do like Mighty Morphin, but... Seeing Draken in space and hanging out with the Omega Rangers and seeing who we might find out in space and the stuff we've heard from the preview pages, I'm excited about that stuff. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say apart from it looks like some serious shit is going to go down with pages like this and pages like this. Like, holy crap, like, who knows what is going to happen moving forward with this comic and... I can't wait to cover it. I can't wait to talk about it in my review. I can't wait to, for you guys to listen and give me some theories. But with that said, I'm going to wrap up the video now. Thank you so much for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like 73% of you guys who watch the video are not subscribed. So if you could hit that subscribe button, hit that big red button, that'd be much appreciated. But with that said, I'm going to wrap things up here now. Thank you so, Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, take care, all that good stuff. Bye.